Hi guys, Bia here. How are you? Hello, hello. Today has been a day, so I need some goodness. And that means, you know what it means because you read the title, but it means Ferris will press. <laughs> Because today has just been a day that... It's just been a day, let's just say that. So I need some Ferris wheel press, fun, chill time. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So what we have here today, it's the new Ferris wheel press collection, which is the Sugar Beach collection. And all of this collection is sparkly ink. So that excites me. That is something that always really excites me. So you can see here in the back, all of the inks have sparkling ink on them if it wants to focus I guess that's as much as it wants to focus <laughs> and we have a pink which is the pink sugar beach is inspired by white sugar fine sand and it has I believe like blue glitter so this promises to be my fave <laughs> we then have midday the magnificent inspired by the Canadian National Exhibit, Historic Summer Fair. And it also has, I believe, like a blue glitter. So they're really going for the blue glitter right now, which I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining at all. And then we have Down the Dom Valley, which is a sneak away from the hustle and bustle of the city and take a stroll of the historical Beltline Trail located at the heart of Don Valley. And this, I believe, has green shimmer as well. So, very shimmery color inks. I am quite excited about this. Oh, I just noticed I have my yucky background. Be right back. Change of, a change of costume. And now it's much happier. <laughs> Completely forgot because I was filming other things. But yeah, so this is the collection. I think I just want to quickly unbox all of them and then do the whole spiel of the swatches. You know the drill. I tend to do two videos by Ferris Will Press, one with just the colors and one with the demo art. And I definitely just need some swatching videos today because whew, I can barely think today. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited for the Sugar Beach pink sugar beach and so in the box as always we have lots of elements we have a little umbrella we have a moose uh, a deer reading in newspaper we have some like barbecue we have a raccoon sunbathing that's adorable we have a spoon on a boat <laughs> oh and we have a bear with a thong that's also very <laughs> very nice and oh there's a chunky raccoon in the pool that's a chunky raccoon. My voice just decided to fail. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciated that chunky raccoon a lot. So let's open it up because I'm quite excited. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you even, can you even see that? I'm not on my window now, I. but I will film some clips there. Oh, there you can see, there you go. That shimmer is something else. I am incredibly excited to try it out. Just look at that. Yeah, ooh, that shimmer, when it catches on, it's really, really nice. I'm really excited to swatch these. Oh, that's, that's incredibly nice. Let's get the green out of the way. I know I always say this, but ugh, greens. What we have in the box, we have a very fashionable dog right here, being a best boy. We have another raccoon taking a little Ferris wheel, Ferris wheel press bottle, which is really cute. We have another fashionable dog. Another raccoon. Yeah, they have more raccoons. This raccoon is on top of a trash can. I am appreciating the raccoons. I do enjoy raccoons. Uh, I think that's a cat. That's This little guy is a cat, I think. And yeah, we have the city in the background. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. I, I dig it. I dig it. I really enjoy their their unbo their boxes. They're always really, really nice. Oh. Okay. You can definitely tell that's green glitter. If it's picking up. If not, I'll go to my window later and just do some shots because you can definitely tell the green glitter is there. It does look nice. 
but it's not picking up on the camera at all. It has a nice shimmer, very subtle since I believe it's like green on green, so it might be a bit more subtle. I kind of already know what I want to draw with this collection, which is nice. So now we have mid midday the magnificent, and so it kind of looks like a stage has a little moose and a cat, paper airplane, another raccoon has another raccoon. I really like that. Some statues, another cat. Yeah, definitely the beach is my favorite box. It's very very funny with all the animals sunbathing. I just thought it was adorable. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, pink and the purple are hitting it home. You cannot even tell how that does not look half the beauty that it is. That does not. Ooh, did you see that? Okay, we're going to do. I'm gonna wait a few seconds. Everything is gonna go down and it's gonna be awesome. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh. That is stunning. I'm going to film some clips on my phone because that just ain't doing justice to anything. Not at all. So I'll be right back. Let's start swatching. I have here my trusty little sketchbook that I use for these swatches. I quite enjoy the paper on this. Start swatching. I have my little handy dandy sketchbook here. And I, I am quite excited to see how these actually look. I have two jars of water, multiple brushes. So I do want to put them on a palette because I do want to see how they look watered down. I think we're going to start with the pink sugar because that's just one that's really calling out to me. My little eyedropper thingy, quite handy dandy and shake it up. So I have the more that I can, just like the sparkles, I do wanna see them pop. Rinse that out. Oh, I need some paper towels. Keep forgetting about that. Okay, I'm gonna use the big boy brush here. Okay, my brush is clean for once. And we're just gonna go straight on. Ooh. I know I do this every single time. <laughs> every time I swatch thing, I'm like, ooh, but it is quite pretty. And I do enjoy the um, like sparkle. And I'm gonna just water it down because I do love doing that. I do love doing that. I like to see how they look watered down. Little drops here, there, and so far, very summery indeed. Moving on to the purple one because I'm stupidly excited about this. I'm, I think these two together are gonna be so. Ooh, almost did a very big mess. Ooh, and I did. I still did a very big mess. Wow. Why am I like this? I, I sh uh, immediately. <laughs> Honestly, I should not be allowed near some. Ooh, but it has oh, it has sparkle on my fingers. Look, I have sparkles on my fingers now. That's a mood. I ain't mad about it. And look, look at that. For once, my clumsiness came in handy. <laughs> okay, so this looks so pretty. Oh. <laughs> Ah, can I just not be me for a day? Like just a day. 
That's all I ask. Just, just a day where I don't wreck everything. <laughs> Please. That would be nice. Just once. Looking pretty. <laughs> Very pretty. This is reminding me more of a coral e color rather than green, uh, than pink, to be honest. But I ain't mad about it. I quite enjoy like coral colors. Let's see how the green holds up. Let's see. Are you going to impress me? Eh. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really. I, 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 I really don't like this green. They have some very pretty greens. This is not itchy for me. It might surprise me when it's dry. Most of these colors do end up surprising me when they dry because they end up being a bit different, but so far it ain't itchy. They look very vibrant, very summery, very happy, but that green, mm-mm. And -mm. the palette, pink and the purple look yummy and delicious and the green is just in eh. that's just me i really don't like green that's on me <laughs> i don't know why i don't know why i don't like green that's my mom i guess i don't know maybe she traumatized me with green when i was a kid i am already seeing sparkles drying and loving what's happening so i am just gonna do a very saturated swatch right here next the next page just because I do want to see how they look like full punch so without any water at all I am just gonna go for it and just see how they look yeah this does look more coral than pink not complaining though I do enjoy it the purple might actually take the cake home in terms of my favorite because that is pretty. Then the green. Are you gonna surprise me now? Okay, I actually have barely any less, so I actually need to remove it straight from the jar. I barely have anything on that little well. Okay, take two. I'm gonna drop some let's here so yeah very shiny very vibrant and I always enjoy like seeing where they got inspired to from like the Canadian vibe I guess <laughs> yeah I kind of already know what I'm gonna draw but that is going to be it for now I ain't going to do the drawing this week because I am trying to just like do more real-time drawing so I think it might be nice to do a real-time drawing for next week uh, obviously for me my favorite is the purple the um, what's it called midnight the magnificent midday the magnificent it's super stunning and the like the sparkles just makes it look kind of dual chrome I'll show the swatches when they're dry because they do tend to change a little bit after they're dry but so far purple is taking me to places that I didn't know is possible so quite loving it but I hope you enjoyed it I know I enjoy doing these little quick and easy uh, Ferris wheel press watching videos because they always lift up my mood like I mentioned I was having quite a day and that helped me out a little bit so don't mind me just rearranging here super pretty thank you so much for watching you guys are just the sweetest I hope you had as much fun as I had with this little swashing sw why can I say that? I hope you had as much fun as I have with this little swatching session. I even got all messy, which is always a plus for me, I think. Don't forget that you can use my code BBBISHKOART10 for 10% off your next Fairy Soul purchase. And if you want to support my creative journey, it really helps me out a lot, so I always appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment. Let me know which of these is, my, is your favorite color. If it ain't purple, I am going to be judging you. Kind of. <laughs> uh, do you like this green? Uh, green's always just like, mm, but I have an idea for it that it's going to be useful. So sure, you will come in handy, but yeah, you better surprise me. It's doing pretty things here. So I am going to let that slide. It's separating nicely. So I'll give you a half point <laughs> for that. 
can always check out my artwork on Instagram. I post there pretty much pretty regularly and I also post little snippets on my stories. So yeah, all my links are down below. So please check them out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.